In the spirit of Christmas, Nigerians have been urged to show love and tolerate one another beyond this season. This advice was given by the founder of the Trinity House Church, Pastor Ito Igodalo, during his Christmas sermon. A correspondent, Paul George, was there. It's a mixed feelings for Nigerians, despite the economic challenges currently facing the country. Many still trooped out to church to pray and worship God this Christmas day. The pastor and founder of Trinity House Church, Itwa Igodalo, is happy for life. He said Christmas is meant to be celebrated. The Christmas is always a refreshing time. Uh, Christmas, as I said, everywhere in the world, everybody's celebrating Christmas. Whether you believe in Christ or not, the season has just overwhelmed you. There's just that feeling that it's the end of the year. It's a time to shut down, to relax. Even where they are fighting wars today, there's ceasefire everywhere, I think. Is that if you actually knew the very day that Jesus was born, people can turn it into something else. So God has given us a semblance, a, a season, a time, and we have all accepted it, and so that is what it is. On the economic situation in the land, Pastor Igodalo absolved President Bola Tinubu of some of the blame. He noted that President Tinubu inherited the unstable government of President Muhammadu Buhari, but however acknowledged that he should take some responsibility. The man of God expresses hope that Nigeria will be better. What is happening right now is not totally Tinubu's fault. He's just been there six or seven months. His party has been in office for the past eight years or so. They didn't do much the first time around. Buhari's government, they didn't do much at all. I'm very, very, very hopeful for Nigeria because the fundamentals that should make Nigeria a great nation are still there. Wonderful people, great climate, wonderful resources. All we need to do is to find how to connect all of them together and make something great. And I'm sure we will do it. <laughs> Congregants who spoke also share similar sentiments for the coming year, despite the hardship. Right now, we are enjoying it. We are not thinking of the hardship because we know that with God, all things are possible. So our hope and trust is in him and he's more than able to make provisions for all our needs, which he has been doing. So we are grateful to God for that. The economic hardship is there, no doubt, but we still find a way to... We still find a way around it to make ourselves happy. Making yourself happy is an intentional thing. Nobody can make you happy. You make yourself happy. You have to be intentional about it. And if not for everything, anything at all, you thank God for the gift of life. So when there's life, there is hope. So the next year we get better. I mean, it's a bit. It's hard for like people. It's hard for everybody. But I think you should just have faith and like. Just have faith and kind of hold on and persevere because that's really all that like in these times that you can really do and just like work hard and God you like reward your hard work. But I really do hope that next year things like are a lot better and I also hope that people have higher spirits next year too because everything is a bit low. <laughs> Pastor Itwa Igodalu offered prayers for Nigeria as the Christmas service was brought to a close. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.